morning, moms and dads. This is Bonnie Leota. I'm here with Thomas Leota, and this is day 51 of the 90-day parenting challenge. And today we're talking about pre-framing. Now, I don't know if you look up that word in the dictionary, if it actually exists, but it should, okay? Uh, because how often do you find yourself reacting to your kids when you take them on outings or even to the park or even getting in the car? It's always stop it, come here, sit down, don't do that, and things like that. It's very reactionary. So, Tom, what is the best way for parents to pre-frame and be proactive with their kids when they take them out on outings? Well, the best thing to do is take five minutes to let them know what the adult brain already has intuitive, intuitively known or should be doing when you go into a grocery store. The kids have no idea because they're a kid's brain. So you take five minutes and tell them what it is that you expect to see, be, do, or happen when you go inside anywhere you're going. Now, for the first time, the kids are going to go, I have no idea what you're talking about. That's why you bring it to their awareness. So let's just say we're in the grocery store. What would you like? Well, I'm sure most parents would like a 5 to 15 foot range near the cart. They can go anywhere they want as long as you're 15 feet away. And follow the directions. We're here to find all the things on the grocery list only. Sounds pretty simple, but how's been your last shopping experience? This is a lifesaver. So what you do is you also got to find out what's important to them or otherwise you've got no fuel in the fuel tank for the kids to even listen, do, be, have anything that has to do with you. So let's just use the free cookie in the bakery. Simple, simple, simple. Now you give them three ways to do it. You can do some of what I ask, most of what I ask, or all that I ask. It all comes down to what's important to them. Little Timmy, let me ask you a question. Would you like a bite of the cookie, half of the cookie, or all of the cookie? That's them thinking. All of the cookie. Perfect. What needs to happen? I don't know. I know you don't know, but if you had to guess, which one of the three was it? Some of it, most of it, or all of what I asked you to do? All? Look how smart you are. Excellent. So if they were to actually do a little, they earn a little. They do most, they earn most. If they do it all, they get it all. You always start at zero and add, even Steven. What you and everyone else has been doing is you give them the cookie up front, hoping that they'll actually meet the expectations coming out the back door. And when they don't, you take things away to make it even Steven. That's negative. Start at zero, plus, plus, positive. What a shift in the world that can be, and that's the power of preframe. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Now, when first uh, Tom first started doing this, I was annoyed. I'm like, can't we just go in the grocery store? My goodness, who has time for this? But then when we went in the grocery store, something that used to take me an hour took 15 or 20 minutes. So is it worth learning this? Absolutely. Your children count on you to teach them. So in the comment section below, what we want you to do is make up a plan, okay? It could be just make-believe, but it's getting you to start thinking about the next time we're in the car, this is going to be my bare minimum average and outstanding expectations. And then, of course, you focus on their rewards. So down in the comment section below again, share your pre-frame plan. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow.